Madeleine McCann was my first major case as an investigative journalist. And it's stayed with me ever since. Three days have gone by, no communication from anyone at all. I think it's looking like an abduction. Jerry and Kate McCann have faced every parent's worst nightmare and continue to go through the torment of not knowing what happened to their daughter. To have a part in trying to get some closure for Jerry and Kate means everything. After years of dead ends and cold leads, one man has emerged as the prime suspect. Christian B is a convicted burglar and violent sex offender. He is a paedophile known to offend against young girls. And it seems the case against him hinges on one key element, a phone call which police believe potentially places him in the area on the night of Madeline's disappearance. Hi, how are you, Mark? Yeah, very good, very good. I'm working with a team of journalists across Europe who have in-depth knowledge of the case. The importance of that phone call is, is that it happened before Madeline allegedly was taken away from the, the apartment. Jao Gardino is a Portuguese journalist who has been reporting on Madeline's disappearance for the world press since day one. Where was Christian B if it was him who took that phone call? Could he have been by the apartment or could he equally have been at another location some distance away? The opportunity now is great because it's fresh, it's back in the public's attention and we've got a new suspect. I know that when I start digging, I will find new information out that hasn't yet been in the public domain. I'm determined to do everything to find the truth and find out whether or not Christian B is responsible for the abduction and murder of Madeline.